Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Brittany and today we have a, another Shop My Stash video. I typically upload these weekly on Tuesdays. This is just a fluke that I happen to be filming and uploading it on Wednesday due to being on work vacay. So um, last week, this is my new drawer. Last week from the new drawer, I chose out the little pixie palette here. We'll talk about that when we get to the eyeshadow palette drawer. And I also talked about this Stila Glitter and Glow in Gold Goddess. And we'll talk about that when I get to the single eyeshadow drawer. This week, I want to pull a palette. Um, I had plans on pulling this in October. It just gives me, I don't know, like <laughs> Halloween vibes, I guess, because it's the ColourPop Villains Collection palette and Misunderstood. Now... This does scream Halloween to me, and I considered saving it because I've got a Jeffree Star unboxing, and I know in that box you get the black liquid lip, and I thought it would pair well with these, but I can't wait anymore. <laughs> I really want to pull this, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and pull this. I've waited forever. I feel like I got this back in July, so we're going to pull this. And then also, I want to pull this little packet um it's just a moisturizer and i ran out of my moisturizer i was using thank god um and so i just want to use this packet up before i bring in another like larger moisturizer so we're gonna pull that and that's all for this drawer. face it is in a blush bronzer highlight contour drawer so like i said i finally finished up this pharmacy Honey Drop Moisturizer. It is completely gone. I would not recommend this. I will not repurchase this. I feel like it broke me out. My skin eventually got adjusted to it, but there was still a little bit of breakouts. And I don't know. It's lightweight for oily skin. I have oily skin, but it just felt like sticky. It just, I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to describe. I just won't repurchase that. So I'm going to put that to the side and we're going to put that in the empties. So last week for foundation and I ended up using this um I think for over a week and I never got tired of it this is I don't know this is like one or either the top or second favorite foundation I have it's the Revlon Colorstay um I have the combination oily and I mean I've used up a lot of this but we're gonna put this back and I am lighter right now um I've been really busy. I haven't had as much time to spray tan. So I want to pull this. This is the CoverGirl, CoverGirl Oil Olay Simply Ageless. I found a primer that works better with this. It's not my favorite foundation at all. As a matter of fact, it might be one of my least favorite foundations. But I do want to use this because it is my lightest foundation that I have. And I feel like that would match me the best right now. So we're going to go ahead and pull this. Last week for primer i used the smashbox primer water this is in a project pan i just did a six by santa project pan um if you guys want to join me in that feel free to do that and um also if you haven't watched it go ahead and check that out i'll link it down below but yeah um we used up a lot i don't feel like it does anything still but i'm just going to switch it out with the becca first light priming filter for whatever reason no primers work with that foundation except for this one of my Lancome one and I feel like if I pull the Lancome one like I won't want to put it up again so I'm going to pull this Becca one especially because I have a backup I want to go ahead and use this up so we're going to pull this one and for powders I used the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder I will tell you this is not my favorite powder but with the um Revlon foundation it looked really really pretty so I'm gonna put this up and actually I'll probably regret this because I don't feel like this keeps me matte or anything but I'm going to pull the hourglass veil translucent setting powder so I feel like I haven't used this with a lot of foundations so I want to try to see if it works well with that partic uh, particular foundation so I want to keep giving it a chance it's not that I don't like it I love the finish it gives on my skin it's that I don't feel like it locks everything in place and causes me to not be oily so yeah I'm going to pull this one and then for concealers last week I pulled 
the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. We had a lot of Too Faced Born This Way products. This, once again, is not my favorite, but with that foundation, it's usable. I will never repurchase this. It's huge. So, I have a lot of using to do with this product. And then for... Let's see. I don't really want to play too much because that foundation is not very... Um, giving. So I'm going to pull the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I love this one. This is now my favorite that I have left in my collection. So yeah, I'm going to pull this one. And then for setting sprays, last week I used this Revlon Photo Ready. Like I said, I wore my makeup, makeup a lot. This feels like it's like a fourth of the way full. And I just love the mist on this. It's not the most, like it's not going to do, and I'm just going to switch this out, what this one's going to do for me, the all-nighter. I feel like the all-nighter truly makes your makeup last. Um, I feel like that one locks it in place and kind of makes it last, but this one like does both and it's like my absolute favorite. So yeah, I'm going to pull this one. Although I do like the mist of the Revlon one better. I like the product of the all-nighter better. <laughs> does that make sense? Okay, and I believe that's all for this drawer. I also wanted to mention that, of course, I'm going to keep in my um, Rimmel Stay Matte. I use that for touch-ups when I do touch-ups. So now we're in the Blush Bronzer Contour Highlight drawer. Last week I enjoyed the Kat Von D Shade and Light for contour. This week I'm just going to use it for setting my under eyes. I always set my under eyes with this, and normally I set the lid with that color. So we're going to keep that in. I'm not going to use it for contour, though. However, for contour, I want to use a cream contour. I just love this little e.l.f. contour. It's in bronzed pink beige. I love it. I mean, it's really, really good. I was scared of it forever, but once I pull this, I never want to put it back, and I, like, pull it every other time. So, we're going to bring this back in my life. And for... <laughs> bronzer blush highlight what I have to put up is the MAC Jeremy Scott cheeky volume one mixtape I love this for travel I love this in general but especially for travel it just made um everything compact like there wasn't a lot of excessive products so I'm gonna put this one up and for bronzer this week I think I'm just gonna use this little mini um no I'm not I'm gonna be going on vacation again here soon, so I'll save that for then. Um, I don't, don't think I've pulled this one. It's my favorite. This is the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer. It just looks like that. I really like that. So we're going to pull that. And then this week for blush. Let me see that palette. I feel like there's like a lot of like rose, goldy kind of colors that we can go with. Yeah, I just want a neutral blush. I say that all the time, but like these two right here are like my absolute favorites, but I want to pull this one. This is Tarte Feisty Blush. Just looks like that. Really pretty. Staple blush. Kind of goes with everything. So I'm going to pull that. And then for highlight, I feel like I don't, I keep having to pull this out because it's like a very different palette. You know, like we got those golds, we got the rose golds, and then we've got some purples, but not really that many purples. I'm glad I looked at that. I was going to pull a purpley highlighter. I think I want to do like a rose gold e kind of highlight. Actually, let's just pull this palette. I feel like I haven't given this palette a chance, and I feel like there's a lot of different color highlights in that palette, so just so all my bases are covered, we're going to pull the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlight Trio. I'm going to pull that one. I haven't used that since Myrtle Beach Vacation. I want to give it another, cha another chance. Alright, that's all Everything. for this eyes that isn't a eyeshadow palette. So I want to put up this little mini. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow and Gold Goddess. I'll put the look on the screen that I came up with with this. I used this the last day. Um, so it was like airport wear and I was like, oh gosh, I'm going to look so extra. But I wanted to make sure that I used it so I didn't have to go back in my new drawer. It just gave my eyes like an extra, I don't know, like wet look. It wasn't like the most intense glitter that I've ever used. Actually, I thought that it was like expired or something or like not sitting well but I put a brown shade from the pixie palette all over the lid and then topped it with this and I really liked the look that I got from it so yeah 
I liked that. Now this week I do want to pull my color tattoos. Um, they're just in these two colors. I feel like I could use this as like with the dark, the darker colors as a base, and then there's a lot of rose gold shades, and I want to get this much use out of these Maybelline color tattoos that I can get. So we're gonna pull both of those. And for primers, we're still going strong. Well, we're not really going strong. Like this is coming to an end, but we're gonna pull in the Urban Decay primer potion per usual. And then for brows, I just have to switch out the Benefit Goof Proof with this Too Faced Brow Envy Palette. I really like, I could use either of these because like my hair is dyed blonde. I've hit panned on the setting wax. I really enjoy that. I'm going to make myself use that highlighter shade. I love the little mini tools that it comes with. I found this at TJ Maxx. It is like a steal. And then, let's see. I am going to keep in, this is a Project Paint item. But I think that I could use it a couple times with that palette. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Starfire. I need to sharpen it. Like, I used it until it was almost not usable anymore. Um, so, yeah, we're going to pull that one. And then I need to switch out my felt tip liner. This is the Kat Von D. I'm going to switch it out for the Tarte Sex Kitten one. And then for my lashes, I just want to put up this Milk Kush Mascara. I will pull this when I go on vacation, and it'll probably be it for that but I want to pull my favorite little combo this is the Smashbox super fan mascara paired with the Dior primer I love those two it's very like lengthening um, but still adds a little bit of volume and I don't want to pull any other singles just because I feel like there's so many looks that I could create with that palette so yeah that's all for this drawer actually you know what I really think that I could use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Goddess. It's like a... It looks black, but it's also kind of navy. Yeah, I'm going to pull that. And now this really is all. This is my lippy drawer. I don't have my ColourPop gloss to put in, but I wore the ColourPop gloss in Puppies last week. It's in a jacket somewhere. I also am using the Sephora Rose Hip Lip Balm. We've been coming to an end with this, so I'm still going to use it. I love this. I have extremely dry lips because of my Invisalign, and that, like, really helps them. The brown color that you'll start seeing when I put my looks on the screen was this Kat Von D lippy. I will tell you, it's not the formula that I remember the Kat Von D. I don't know if this one's going bad. I got it, I think, two years ago in a holiday collection, but it was, like, really patchy, and, like, it came off really weird. I don't know, but I like the color, so I'm going to put that one up. Now, I want to be sure... Be sure that, I don't know, I kind of want to have fun. Um, I feel like there's a lot of, like, blue tones in here, right there. I feel like there, there. So, I want to pull one of my blue ones, and then I want to just pull, I think, this one for, like, the rose gold. Like, this is a Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. This never goes matte, but that's fine with me. Um... Just because I can't wear lip glosses because of the Invisalign. But I really think that makes it look like a lip gloss without the side effects of the lip gloss of transferred on the Invisalign. So we're going to pull this Revlon lip color. And then I want to go back here. So I know I want to pull like a blue color. So I was thinking a blue purple color like triggered. Or when I find it, like you're still on the property, is that what it's called? Oh, and no, you know, shade looks good, but that's like purpley. I want to take advantage of like there is blue color. So let me find that and I'll be right back. So I found both of them that I was talking about. There's nothing more frustrating than like having this unique color and you know that you had it in your collection and then like when it's time to finally pull this color that you've been waiting for that special palette and you can't find it. Thank God I found them though. But Triggered, I'll go ahead and give you a swatch. This is like a more black purpley shade, but like I feel like that palette gives you that option to do a color like that. And this is the You're Still on the Property. And that's just like a cool blue. I'm just gonna pull both of these. I know that gives me three lippies and like I'm pulling these sort of later in the week. I don't know if I'll use them all, but I really wanna try to. So, yeah, I'm going to pull both of those. 
and that's all for this Here is my eyeshadow palette drawer that definitely needs to be gone through in the near future. But right now I just want to put up this Pixie palette. I loved this for a quick, simple, I'll tell you my favorite look was towards the end and I didn't really expect it to be my favorite look. I wasn't expecting, like I didn't take many pictures because a lot of the looks I went were the same. But I took a picture, it's a bad one, I'll put it on the screen right now. But what I did in that picture is I just put this all over the lid and a little bit in the transition and then this in the crease especially in the outer V these two matte shades over here and I loved it it was my favorite look that I've got from the entire palette I've used all these colors uh, another one of my favorites was this one all over the lid this darker one and then this in the crease or a combination of these in the crease I'll put that on the screen right now too um it was a cool unique kind of like dark brown but like really reflective cool looking color and then the other looks that you'll see, I'll just use these all over the lid. Um, this one, I mean, these two shimmers, are they're not my favorite shimmers. These mattes are some of my favorite mattes. The shimmers up here up top, this one was okay, but the two up top, they just looked very chunky. And like, I felt like I was layering a lot to try to make them work. And it was still like, just, I don't know, it just didn't look like... The best shimmer possible but i like this for the convenience the quickness and the travel and i will definitely be pulling it when i travel in the future so yes i'm gonna put this one back i'll put a new screen um yeah and now let's look at all the items here's that we an overview of all the items that we pulled and here's my dog she's like why are we not in bed um it's really early so i'm excited to give this ofra palette highlighter palette another try Excited to be using Project Pan items and the color tattoos because I hardly ever use those. The Huda Concealer is a favorite. Glad to be using a different moisturizer finally. The Misunderstood palette I've been trying to use forever. Don't love that foundation, but I love that primer. And I'm excited to give the Hourglass um, setting powder another go. Love the e.l.f. contour and those lippies are going to be fun. Let me know in the comments below some items that you pulled this week. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.